Flash flooding is a major concern for New Mexico during monsoon season. Thunderstorms often develop in the afternoon and evenings throughout the summer months and move slowly, producing hefty rainfall rates over short durations. When rain falls too fast for the ground to absorb, it turns to runoff. Flash flooding occurs once runoff becomes excessive, producing fast flowing or rapidly rising water. Flash flooding can lead to rapid torrents of water that exceed the banks of normally dry arroyos, creeks, washes, and ermine drainage basins. In New Mexico, the diverse and varied terrain escalates the threat for flash flooding. Water and runoff can quickly pick up speed and power as it surges to lower elevations. Flash floods can move boulders, tear out trees, sweep away cars and trucks, destroy bridges and other structures, and become a life-threatening situation for those caught in their path. The natural network of arroyos and small streams carved out by millennia of precipitation can pose a significant threat to rural areas where limited communications and emergency resources exist. Low water crossings in these areas can become a deadly trap for those willing to risk crossing. Of all the flash flood related fatalities in New Mexico since 1959, 40% have occurred in vehicles. It is always advised that you turn around, don't drown. Larger metropolitan areas like Albuquerque are also highly susceptible to flash flooding during the monsoon season. An extensive network of concrete lined arroyos, flood and diversion channels, and street gutters are all designed to quickly and efficiently move water to lower ground, but they can house dangerous torrents of water when heavy rainfall occurs over or upstream of them. Lieutenant Chris Carlson of the Albuquerque Fire Department joins us now and speaks on the fire department's role in flooding events throughout the city. So the Albuquerque Fire Department is, respo is responsible for responding to uh, water emergencies within the Albuquerque uh, metropolitan area. We respond to a wide range of, of uh, water events um, from river emergencies, irrigation ditches, uh, pools and ponds, and then of course our flood channel control arroyos that are spaced throughout the metropolitan area. So the flood control arroyos uh, spaced throughout the metropolitan area are designed to gather up um, rain activity or, or flood waters and divert them out of the city as quick as they possibly can. What that creates is a unique environment because it is a man-made concrete lined arroyo where the water speeds in those arroyos can easily reach uh, 25 miles an hour. Speed equals power when it comes to water. So for every you know, double increase in the amount of speed, you get a quadruple of the forces that it exerts on you or maybe a vehicle that you're in, um, in those water channels. Uh, the Albuquerque Fire Department uh, responds to a number of emergencies annually uh, in, in the water. Uh, the most dramatic events are typically in the uh, flood channel arroyos uh, that run next to a number of our fi firehouses. Um, we have a large um, homeless population that tends to take shelter under uh, bridges during uh, thunderstorms. And unfortunately, uh, those same arroyos uh, attract uh, children to ride their bikes and skateboards in. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be raining when those flood waters uh, come through where they are. So more often than not, people are caught off guard by them and, uh, and swept away. And it only takes a few inches of water in those flood arroyos uh, for you to not be able to get out of it on your own. National Weather Service forecasters utilize a variety of tools to assess the risk of flash flooding events. Satellite data allows forecasters to assess the overall distribution of moisture and instability in the atmosphere. Radar data provides a more detailed representation of the coverage areas more at risk for flash flooding once thunderstorms have developed. The National Weather Service works closely with emergency management to improve the ability of response personnel to prepare for flood events. We asked Lieutenant Chris Carlson how the interaction with the National Weather Service improves their ability to respond to flooding events. The National Weather Service really helps the Albuquerque Fire Department by preparing us uh, to respond to these events by notifying us of the potential conditions uh, as they enter the metropolitan area. By notifying us of um, those weather events, we have the ability to uh, review operational procedures, 
uh, and do equipment readiness checks to make sure that we are uh, prepared for the event uh, that someone ends up in the water. The National Weather Service has developed a watch, warning, advisory program to better serve the public and our emergency management partners. A flash flood watch means that flooding is possible. A flash flood warning means that light threatening flash flooding is about to occur or has been reported. A flood advisory means heavy rains will cause minor flooding of washes, low water crossings, and flood prone areas. Stay alert to changing weather conditions this summer by monitoring our website at weather.gov forward slash ABQ. You can also learn more about flash flooding and other weather hazards associated with the monsoon season by visiting our monsoon awareness webpage. Stay safe this monsoon season and remember, turn around, don't drown.